welcome to another Blue Dog tutorial. We're here in Cambodia and I'm going to talk to you today about photography from a tuk-tuk. What's a tuk-tuk? A tuk-tuk is a little carriage that in Cambodia is pulled by a motorbike. I've got Chum Nan with me who's my dear friend in Cambodia or in Siam Reap who's a tuk-tuk driver. So Chum Nan's the best tuk-tuk driver in Cambodia. He's been working with me for many years with photography so if you want to uh, look him up his phone number will be on the screen and uh, he's also on Facebook so you can look up and Chum yes. Nan on Facebook as well but let's get back to taking photographs from a tuk-tuk I'll go through just a couple of things first the first thing that I want to just talk about is your gear don't even worry about bringing a monopod or a tripod with you complete and absolute waste of time I generally like to shoot with a lens that's got a good focal length. So today I'm shooting with the 28 to 300 lens. I can zoom easily in and out. The other thing is that I always have my lens hood on when I'm shooting from the tuk-tuk. And I always have a UV filter or a protector filter and a circular polarizer on. The couple of other things, the tuk-tuks can be a little bit rough depending on the sort of streets and today we're going on some streets through villages. Um, so I push that shutter speed up. I generally try and shoot on at least a thousandth of a second. Sometimes I will push it up a little bit further. For those of you that have got point and shoot cameras, make sure that you go on to your action or sports mode. That's very important. Um, keeping the camera steady is another thing that can be a little bit difficult. Make sure you've got your wrist, uh, your strap wrapped around your wrist. Um, I find that helps and quite often I will make sure that my elbow is into my, my, my body or, or the top half of my arm is pressed into my body and often my elbow I'll be resting actually on my, my lap. Now one other thing is when a lot of people jump into the tuk-tuk so they sit on this seat so that they're facing the driver. Uh, basically what you see is everybody coming towards you and you're having to shoot outside the tuk-tuk and what I often find is a great tip is to actually sit in the seat which so that you've got your back to the driver because as he passes people you will actually be able to see wonderful wonderful road scenes you know people with with pigs on the back of motorbikes and all of that sort of stuff coming so I'll quite often sit with with my back to Cham Nan. Also, never be afraid to actually ask your driver to stop. Cham Nan, um, his, his little girls are here with me, his little children are here with me at the moment. And we will often just stop by the side of the road or near a market where the light looks really interesting and we'll just wait for something to happen. We then sort of uh, become part of the environment and people don't notice us as much. So, the drivers are, are quite happy for you to stop and if you've got a great driver like Chum Nan, they'll take you to the locations where they know it's going to be good photography at that time of day. Now that's another thing is, is what time of the day to shoot. Early morning you have beautiful light. Here in Cambodia you will often have the monks out on the street. So early morning you get people cooking on the sides of the street, that sort of stuff. During the middle of the day the lighting does get very contrasty so be careful if you're shooting from light to dark areas and again late in the afternoon I find the light changes quite dramatically here so again late in the afternoon we're getting a lot of people after they've had their baths children being bathed in the villages things like that so you know time of the day is one thing to keep in mind another thing is that your lens will get very dirty so I always make sure I've got a lens cleaning cloth just to keep my lens and my filters clean that's very important last but not least is payment and a lot of people say to me what do you pay how much do you pay your tuk-tuk driver when you've got a good tuk-tuk driver they're honest to you you know there's a lot of stuff being written and on the internet about drivers in Asia ripping people off. I've generally not found that. Um, I'm lucky because I have Chum Nan who drives for me all the time but I always pay my driver well and I always tip my driver here in Cambodia. If he's done a good job for me, given me water, made sure that I've got to the locations where I've been able to get some excellent shots, I tip him well. 
Now, I always only carry a small amount of money in a tiny purse. I find that works well. You don't want to be out with a lot of money. And when you pay your, uh, your drivers in Cambodia, it is always polite to hand, <laughs> handle your money like this. So I will give that to Chamnan. And do you see how our fingers will not touch? And then I'll say thank you. Okay. And that is how you actually pay your driver respectfully in, in Cambodia. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed another one of our Blue Dog Photography tutorials. I'll catch you next time. For more information, don't forget to check out our website at www.blue-dog.com.au. Thank you.